My name is Kirsten Gamble. I'm currently an engineer at Newport News Shipbuilding in Newport News, Virginia. Currently in my position, I work for the Commodity Engineering Department. We essentially, all the parts that go on the ships and the shipyard, like the subs and everything, they have to, we have to make sure they're technically correct and they have all the correct specs on them. So we kind of review all the information for their purchase, just to make sure that they're all good to go. When I was in high school, I did not like social studies. I did not like English. Anything that had to do with writing, I was like, I don't want to do it. But I really enjoyed math and physics. I was in a program in high school called Investing Now. So they always had like, you know, engineers come talk to us. We did all types of like STEM, STEM activities. When it was time for me to decide what I wanted to do when I got to college, I figured, I thought, Engineering seemed like a good thing for me because I knew I'd be doing math and stuff. And um, I had a challenging time at Pitt just because as soon as things started to get really challenging, I didn't think I was, I was like, I can't do this, I'm not good enough. But my mom was like, you're gonna finish, like you have to finish college, you're gonna finish. And I was like, okay. So I, was, I, I finally finished, I had, it took a little longer than I wanted, but um, if I could go back and tell myself something, I would say, go ask for help. As soon as you start, not know what's going on, go ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Like you aren't the only person that's confused. <laughs> I graduated from Pitt in 2008. It was really hard for me to find a job when I graduated college because we were right in the middle of a recession. I really wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to get out of Pittsburgh. So um, I decided to join the Navy. I have a nuclear engineering program and that seemed really interesting to me. I'd taken some nuclear um, engineering classes while I was in um, college. So it just seemed to like line up and I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll do it. I just jumped out on faith. Nobody in my family was military, like no one in my immediate family. I just, I, I just wanted to explore and I felt like that was my best option. I figured I'd get some experience and everything. So I did that and it was, it was it was a very different experience than what I had been used to, but um, I think it was it was one of those things that's been very uh, very beneficial and life formative into who I am in my career today. Being in the Navy as a Black woman, where like mostly are surrounded by other um, like white males, it was at first it was challenging. I was um, lucky with people immediately around me. I felt like I had a pretty solid support system, but like people often doubted like my ability. So you kind of have to like speak up for yourself. You need to know that you are good enough to be here. Like nobody's, these people aren't better than you just because they say that or just because they think that you don't know what you're doing. So, and there were, there were some times like I was, was selected to be the head of the class, but then I, that was taken away from me because they said I wasn't assertive enough. So that was one of the moments that I was like, think, I was like, okay, I need to like stand up for myself or I need to be more confident. And from then on, like, I feel like I, I didn't shy away from conflict as much. Like any, I, I, would, I was more likely to challenge people when they would try to challenge me. I spoke up when I saw things happening that I thought were wrong. Um, number one, ask questions. Anytime you have a question, ask it. Don't be afraid. No, like, I know they always say, no question's dumb. That's honestly the answer. Like, no question is too dumb. Ask questions all the time. Don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to, you know, kind of put yourself out there. Like, you have to have confidence in yourself. And be yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself. There's no, there's no specific way that someone in STEM looks or behaves. Like, you know, you have this mental picture of what you think an engineer looks like or what you think the scientists look like, but it can look like anything. Just be yourself. There's so many, just don't be afraid to be yourself.